Hello. Once again, abortion bans are not pro-life. My name is Joe Thomas. I'm a hospitalist physician. I use social media for education and advocacy in public health and reproductive justice. And today we're going to talk about a couple of people who have been adversely affected by abortion bans. The first is Amber Nicole Thurman. She was a medical assistant in Georgia, uh, where they have a six-week ban, uh, which essentially by six weeks, that's usually the first time you actually even realize that you're pregnant. Um, she uh, decided to terminate her pregnancy because things were illegal in Georgia. She went to North Carolina. She got uh, mifepristone and misoprostol, which are two medications that are commonly used for medical abortions. She unfortunately had incomplete expulsion of fetal tissue, which is uh, a somewhat rare but unfortunate complication, uh, and she needed medical attention. She went to the hospital showing signs of sepsis, which is a body-wide systemic reaction to an infection, in this case caused by the fetal tissue that she had been unable to expel. She uh, was extremely sick, needed this procedure called a dilation and curatage, or a DNC. Unfortunately, that procedure is associated with abortions. It's a healthcare procedure, meaning it has indications and there are situations where it is necessary. But because of the law in Georgia, even though it, it, you know, people who support these laws will claim that there are exceptions for life-threatening situations, the language of the law makes that unclear, and doctors do not want to go to jail. So by the time they actually got, you know, were able to, and somebody felt comfortable performing the procedure, it was almost 24 hours later, and she did not make it. Amber Nicole Thurman died. Medical experts have determined that uh, her death was preventable, and if she had gotten the procedure earlier, she might have survived. Now, there are people who, you know, like to support these laws that, that say, well, the doctor should, you know, they should have made that call and they should have, uh, t you know, taken her for the procedure. But that's not how these laws are written. These laws are written so vaguely, and doctors have been persecuted for doing medically justified abortion procedures, DNCs, and things in this nature. No doctor wants to sacrifice their livelihood, uh, their family, to put their life on hold to go to jail for a procedure that is medically indicated. This woman literally died because politicians who choose not to understand medical practice and science meddled with health care, and they did it in such a way that predominantly affects women and black people. Once again, abortion bans are not pro-life. Part two of this video coming soon.